Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Seems like ages since I've filmed again. I've just been really busy. So today we're doing a good old fashioned grocery haul. I went to Sainsbury's and I spent 93 pounds and 65 pence. We've got a fair bit of stuff. There's some meat in there, things like that, slightly more expensive items. But today is primarily a lesson in why I should film things straight away. This order came yesterday but the girls were in the house. I try not to film when they're around because I just don't feel very comfortable with that. Um, so I'm doing it today and half the stuff's already been eaten, which goes to show that with a family of four plus lots of pets, uh, food does not last long. And sometimes you know, my brother watches my videos and he'll message me and go, you can't possibly get through all of that. You must be bursting at the seams. You have to be throwing away food. We don't, we genuinely don't. Everything gets eaten really quickly. As usual, what I will do is I'll put up on screen how much everything cost and you can tell me if you think that I've been ripped off. And please do like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. I do them very often, so be good to have you on board. Oh, and um, what do you think? I decided to bleach the roots and change colours. I'm liking it. I'm feeling the purple for spring. Mm. Doesn't really go with the red dress though, but I was not thinking about that this morning. Never mind. Right, let's get into it. We'll see what we got, how much it cost. Let's start over here so I can get this back in the freezer. Um, poppadoms, I'm gonna do a curry at some point and the kids love poppadoms. I love poppadoms, everyone loves poppadoms. So there we go. Got some yogurts for the kids. Freya really enjoys these ones, but they're not the little mini kiddies ones. They are full sized, so I mean, I think it actually works out cheaper per gram. Uh, presumably for that. Some frozen broccoli florets, always handy to have in. I thought I'd gone for the bigger box of wheat biscuits, that's own brand wheat bix basically, isn't it? Um, we go through a lot of these because both kids enjoy having them for breakfast. Some cereal for Ed, he's a man of habit, he likes his honey hooplers or generic non-branded hoops. I got fish fingers, you can tell, look, lunch yesterday. Fish fingers for the kids, gluten-free fish fingers for me. These are super expensive compared to those, so that is why I do that. Um, this half-eaten bag of salad that also has a carrot and half a courgette in it, uh, this has already been eaten by the tortoise and the bearded dragon. This is what happens five minutes after she gets like, when I feed her, it's like a huge mountain of food and pellets and calcium powder. So basically she eats what she fancies at the time. She messes everything about, makes everything generally disgusting and grotty, and then goes and sits behind something and has a, a little snooze. It's such a hard life for a Wednesday, isn't it? However, there is a contender for new messiest family member, and it's this lady who has done a massive poo over there. I cleaned her out this morning and she's messed her, her food up. Now, this tank is looking very spartan at the moment. I'm not happy with this. It's not enriching enough for her. So what Ed and I are planning to do over the Easter weekend is we've got some substrate that she can dig in that's arrived and we're going to actually make out of old pallets platforms and runs so that she's got more space to run about in she can climb she can do all sorts i've got some fake plants and vines and everything so um i'll, I'll put a picture up at, at some point of what the final result looks like uh, but zelda you are going to be getting all sorts of exciting new things but in the meantime tidy your room young lady jeez oh you are such a grumpy mare but well, she's not grumpy She's adorable. She likes to hang out on my shoulder all the time. 12 eggs. The girls are really loving boiled eggs at the moment. Freya's really into dippy eggs. So we did buy more eggs because I, I can't get them in the house fast enough at the minute. I keep thinking about long term. I would love to have rescue ex battery hens in the garden. That would be amazing. And part, I'm put off by the initial cost of it, obviously, because um, things are a bit tight at the moment. But one day it will happen and then I will have fresh eggs. Got some gluten-free porridge oats for me. I have porridge pretty much every morning. Some Greek natural style yogurt. Always good to have. Cheesy balls. Kitty snacks. Very important. Um, some bacon. I haven't had bacon for ages, actually. I'm thinking bacon sandwiches over the bank holiday weekend that's coming up. Uh, pork belly slices. These were a reasonable price. And if you have not done pork belly slices in the air fryer, you have not started living yet. I promise you they're amazing. They're so good. Just marinate them, bung them in there. Keep a close eye on them because you don't want them to go over. They will be crispy yet moist and fabulous. It's the only way to cook them as far as I'm concerned. 
uh, uh, what, what are you, um, words? Soft cheese, cream cheese. That's for a recipe that I have coming up that I'm very excited about that will include salami slices and parmesan. So you need to keep an eye out for that. I want to do a big thing of bolognese. So I got some 5% fat beef mince. I know this packaging is better. I know it doesn't affect the quality of the meat. I just find it deeply unsettling for some way, reason. Like, I don't think they should go back to the old style packaging because that's more wasteful, but I, d I don't, I've just, for some reason it gives me the ick and I'm not a squeamish person, so there we go. This kielbasa sausage is incredible and everybody in the house loves it. What I, my favorite thing to do with it, you can do hundreds of different things with it, is just chop it up into big old chunks, chuck it on a baking tray with some veg and do a one pan sheet meal and just put some olive oil, paprika, garlic, whatever seasonings you want. Incredible, amazing. You need to buy that if you have not already tried it. Any apples for the kids? The fruit bowl has one lonely apple in it and that is unacceptable. This is a huge thing of British chicken drumsticks. Um, I don't know, do you have a weight on you? Two kilos. I didn't think that was bad. I'm, I don't know whether I'm going to put half of this in a freezer bag and freeze half or whether I'm just going to cook them all and then we've got cold chicken drumsticks to have with lunches and whatnot for the rest of the week. What would you do with all these? You tell me, what should I do with all of this? Um, the girls absolutely love eating chicken drumsticks and ribs and everything like that that you think a one-year-old and a two-year-old might not necessarily enjoy. They're like tiny Vikings straight in there. Right, over here, <laughs> this is a bit embarrassing. So this is a bit of a graveyard of stuff that we've already gotten into. The strawberries were gone, I think, within two hours of getting into the house. They don't exist anymore. I'm going to have to size that up now. And the grapes, likewise, they didn't last very long either. Red seedless grapes. I'm not going to throw that because there's a sad, squishy one. But imagine I did for dramatic effect. Courgettes. One of them's already over living in the salad bag. Um, so rabbit, tortoise, Zelda, the bearded dragon, and us. We, we all get to partake of that. Get some celery, we always go through that. Cucumber, I'm surprised this is still around. It probably won't be around after the next 24 hours. Just got them immediately. Right, you're going to think that I'm insane. So, oat bran, I did not buy for us. I bought to save money long run because we, we have the bearded dragon now. Um, she was a rescue, we didn't pay anything for her. She was uh, somebody locally on Facebook said, ah, oh, help me. I can't look after her anymore and we have kept them before so we did but they eat live insects and the insects get really really expensive so the cheapest way I found of doing it is to actually set them up properly in a container and get them to breed yourself so that's it's for mealworms and crickets is what that's for there you go if you didn't know that and you've never kept reptiles consider yourself educated Sugar snap peas, the girls love those. I love these, all the animals love these. Tell me you have toddlers in the house without telling me you have toddlers in the house. Ketchup, we're out. Tantrums were had. Some gluten-free pasta for me. I got one fusilli and I got one penny. Um, I just cook gluten-free pasta for everyone. I don't do it. Do, bleh, 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 bleh. Words are hard today. I'm going to have another coffee in a minute. I don't do separate pasta. I just cook it for everyone because now this has dropped down to 75 pence a bag. It is pretty much as cheap as buying proper pasta. Two things of Marifat peas. Don't know why they've been beaten up, but they have. I make pea and ham soup with that. Then you have tomato puree. Running pretty low on that. We're not on main sewage, so I need to get septic tank safe toilet cleaner, which is more expensive, but it is what it is. Am I convinced that this actually does much? No, I think it's pretty rubbish, to be perfectly honest. But I've got to use something. So I use that. Washing up liquid. We do a lot of washing up. There's a lot of dishes. I needed more of that. We've got some pears to go in the fruit bowl. These are as hard as bullets, so they will need to ripen up for a bit. This has also been gotten into, see the aforementioned... Fish fingers, we had fish finger sandwiches for lunch yesterday, so gluten-free bread for me. Coffee, 
If it sounds like my feet are sticking to the floor, it's because I just mopped and now I'm walking about with slippers. So my house is not sticky. It's not claggy like a nightclub at 3 a.m. It's it's clean for once, which is nice. Yes, uh, instant coffee for me and Ed. Toothpaste for me and Ed. This was on a nectar price, so it was a bit cheaper, which was good. Uh, sweet corn, just a tin to have in. Calpol. I'm at the point now where I feel like the little syringes that come with this, I either have to find an alternative use for, like some sort of miracle craft thing on Pinterest, or I need to start throwing them because they're, they're taking over my colour redraw. Breadsticks. We've already cracked into the breadsticks. That did not take five minutes. But I think Freya picked them up as I was bringing it all into the kitchen and immediately started opening those. Got some orange squash for the girls. Four tins of beans, some golden delicious apples, gluten-free plain white flour. Um, this is, uh, well, what, any time we do any baking, we use gluten-free flour. It's just easier that way. And I don't want to feel left out. Carrots, these have also been gotten into already. They won't last very long. I'm out of garlic, so I'm going to peel all of these and freeze the individual cloves. And then that way I can just pull out one as and when I need it. Lasts longer that way. British baking potatoes. I might have baked potatoes or I might just cut them up for chips. Who knows? And curly leaf kale. This Ed is not a big fan of kale. The girls aren't a big fan of kale either, but I love it. So this is primarily going to be for the tortoise and the rabbit and the bearded dragon. Yeah. I don't think I've said bananas, but bananas. These are a bit green, so they'll need a bit of time, which is brilliant because my kids are really patient about that so yeah that's everything that we got let me know if you've bought anything exciting recently and please give me some ideas for chicken drumsticks obviously by the time this video goes live i'll have solved that problem but for future i would like some ideas thank you so much for watching you take care bye